these chickens are always ruining our videos. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's the generalization game. It's something that's operating in the background for most of us. And we don't even understand that it's happening. Yet this generalization game, it can have a profound effect on our life. Whether we're trying to meet a survival situ situation scenario, or we're just trying to navigate a conversation with a loved one. In this video, we're gonna help you understand how to recognize the generalization game, what it is, and how to counter it in your life. <laughs> so the generalization game, you might have already guessed it. It is when you change from a state of observing what is going on in this moment Okay, Kenton came into the kitchen, asked me if I wouldn't mind putting the knife over here when I dry it versus just leaving it in the sink. And that's one thing. Then I might have some feelings about it. Maybe I didn't sleep well, I'm grumpy, and I think, ah, uh -huh, that didn't make me feel great. So I say, hey, you know, the way you said that to me kind of made me feel like you, you know, were trying to tell me what to do, whatever. But take it up a notch to the generalization game. It switches over from here's the situation to you are always telling me what to do. You're always telling me that I should do this, I should do it differently, where I should put things, and you just never leave me alone. You never give me a chance to do la 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 la. And suddenly we have always and never entering into our experience. And that's when you can start to realize you've switched from what is actually happening to this broad, just blanket statement you're always doing this or you're never doing this, that kind of a thing. So you're using these as keywords, always and never. And words like this, these broad brush words, they speak to us of the difference between observing the situation, ah, oh, the chickens are here, mm -hmm. to taking that and making it into a big always. The chickens are always ruining our videos. And this happens when our mind makes that switch into the generalization game. So if I'm in a relatively peaceful, observant type of space in my life, I'm going to see a circumstance or an event, and it's going to be, I don't want to say isolated from the rest of life, you know, remembering that, that last video, it's part of our whole life. But I'm seeing that, that this is happening now, it's in the present. When I start to get frustrated, then my mind's going to make that leap. And I think the great thing about the generalization game is if we remember those keywords, if I find myself saying, this always happens, or you never do this, I know my mind has jumped into the generalization game. And when I'm in the generalization game, I mean, I'm not making clear judgments about the world anymore. We're not using the information that's right there. We're starting to tell stories in our heads. We're starting to pull in the past. I mean, this can happen with any of the survival skills. You know, students come out here, you might have experienced this yourself. You've tried numerous times to, let's say, start a one match fire in the rain, right? And it just, it, it usually doesn't work. And then today you're trying it again and it's not working and you're like, oh, I give up, I am not good at this, I suck, I, I never get a fire in the rain. I can never do this, I, I'm not doing it anymore. And then you've switched over, right? So any of those skills that you're working towards, yes, we have positive days, we have negative days. Some skills might be harder for us, but to then go from that, this is never gonna work for me, we're doing ourselves a disservice. It saps energy, again in that survival scenario. <laughs> You're trying to accomplish a task, and when I start going into the generalization game, then, boy, so much energy goes into basically telling myself all these negatives. Right. So my, my power of positivity, my good attitude, which is really my best tool there, it's gone. When it comes to relationships or that conversation that we're having, then it is an automatic generator of, of negativity and conflict. Ooh. Think of the difference between saying, you know, if I say to you, you know, Rebecca, that, that thing that happened this morning, 
it really kind of bothered me in some ways. Can I share with you? As opposed to, Rebecca, you are always telling me what to do, right? Mm -hmm. What does that do? That creates defensive wall. <laughs> right. You're going to, I'm going to bring up my defensive wall. Right. It's how we create conflict and fights. I think what's interesting is that the always and never, it shows us that we're in a place where we probably are feeling frustrated, we're feeling vulnerable, we might be scared, and there's maybe a sense of crystallizing something. This scenario is the same as all these other ones, and it's going to be the same in the future, and I'll never escape from where I am. And so we, we feel like we have to say that it's always going to be as it is now, or as I think it was. And we get into kind of this negative <laughs> feedback loop, right? where we think, okay, this is negative, and then I say, oh, it's just never gonna be any different. And then we create it never being any different because we look at it that way all the time and see how it goes like this and this and this, oh, right? Yeah, so yeah. Ne negativity isn't gonna accomplish things. It's creating the crappy stuff that we think we're trying to avoid. It's a feedback loop. Yeah, and when we bring other people into it, then it gets even more challenging because a lot of people don't necessarily realize, oh, this person is in the generalization. See those chickens? <laughs> Always. The girls call that chicken loudy. <laughs> when you bring in another person, they may not realize, oh, you're in the generalization game. And they may not be able to say, I see what that means. I see where they're caught kind of in this fog looking at things they might think you're talking about it's real and when they think it's real and they don't understand where you are they start to get upset too because they're not always that way do you are you always a certain way do you always follow a particular <laughs> personality trait all the time 100 percent? that's not true we're changing creatures so the flip side of this is so we recognize when we're in the generalization game when we're playing the generalization game the second is realizing when someone else is yeah. playing the generalization game and there's steps that we can take to recognize this and to help ourselves not get caught up in it so those those steps first is recognizing it recognizing it we're using those generalization terms either noticing on a more subtle level level that our mind is generalizing but almost always we're going to use those verbal cues. We're going to recognize those in ourselves or in other people. Right. Always, never. Are there any other really good ones you can think of? Oh, um, no, I can't think of any. Those okay. are usually the real ones. <laughs> those but are the, the big thoughts ones. or expressions, it will never change or it has always been the same. That sense of stuckness. And when you recognize that you're using that language, you can stop right there, whether it's you or somebody else, because you know that you either are not thinking clearly and not registering the situation clearly, or that other person is not registering the situation clearly. It's not going to be any use to point that out to the other person that, that they're not because they're stuck in that, mm. that place. But in yourself, you can learn to stop and go, ah, look. I just said, that person is always. And then, you've caught it. Just in catching it, making that stop. That's the big first step. Once you've noticed it, of course you have choices. You could stay in the same place and continue on, continue to think the same thing, or you could ask yourself, okay, I have noticed I'm in the generalization game. And you can kind of laugh at yourself a little bit and be like, yeah, my life is always awful. Nothing ever nice happens to me. I mean, I always have this, this, and this that are wrong. And you can play with yourself a little bit. Or not with the other person. You wouldn't want to do this at their expense. But realizing that you get a choice. And with it's, when it's with another person, you can choose how to respond to them. Perhaps you can actually, instead of getting into that defensive wait a second, you could say, yeah, you could step into the validation one and say, hey, Seems like you're just having a rough time. Do you want to just vent a little bit? I'm here. You can just tell me what you think. And I'm not going to judge you. And you don't have to take offense at those things coming right. in at you. Because you know, you've already recognized, they're not in their clear spot. So when they're saying, okay, I'll vent. You are always this and you are always that. 
that can be, you know, water off a duck's back on you because you recognize they are not in a place right. of clarity. This is not the time to to <laughs> think Try that to they're make, like right big decisions or think that it. they've thought about this and they really know what they're talking about. They might as well be saying you always wear that shirt every single day and you always wear that same pair of shoes. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like, so, yeah. So with another person stepping back, not taking offense, not taking it seriously, or just saying. If you can't handle it and the situation is, is, is too intense, simply saying, I think now isn't a good time for me to talk. And could we step away and maybe come back to this later on? Mm -hmm. You can also make that choice with yourself. So you have the choice to continue on. You have the choice to play with it a little bit and get super extreme to how life is never going to work for you and it's always going wrong. Uh, or you can choose to step away and say, you know what, whatever, whatever situation I'm in at the moment, I'm out here, it's pouring rain, I'm freezing cold, and I'm not getting a fire, and you start to hear yourself say, I'll never get fires, I'm, oh. step away from it for a moment, say, okay, instead of making the fire, I realize I'm playing the generalization game, I'm simply going to do something else. I'm going to work on getting uh, a shelter with some boughs over there and just get myself out of the rain a little, and I'll come back to it after I've taken a breather. So you can take a breather even with yourself and just put it on a different burner for a little while and tell yourself, okay, yep, uh, in half an hour I'm going to come back to that thought. That's another option. This is so liberating, I think. Reason one, we recognize this thing that usually was just taking us for a ride before. Now we see it, we understand it, it no longer holds the same power over us. Number two, you said we have a choice. Mm -hmm. And starting to recognize that as we become aware of our mind's activity, it doesn't rule over us. We have a choice. It's not going to just take us there. We get a choice which route we're going to go down. And sometimes, you know, the, the old pathways are burnt pretty hard and we're going to make the choice to just not be our best selves. But every time we make that choice to be our best self, to, you know, move that positive direction, we're going to burn that pathway and that neural network's going to get a little bit stronger. Share in the comments your thoughts about the generalization game. Have you noticed this operating in your life? You, you might see it tomorrow. Now that you are aware of it, if you weren't aware of it before, you might see it happening quite often. It can happen in your thoughts too. Things that you're thinking yeah. and then somebody says something at work and into the thought bubble you go of generalization. <laughs> Life's always going to be this way. So. So tell us about, you know, if you've noticed this and how you have dealt with it or transformed it. If you try what we talked about in this video, let us know if it's helpful to you. Thanks, Thank my friends. You. Talk with you soon.